Alright, hello guys, and welcome to another Redstone tutorial, and today I'm going to talk about TNT cannons, and the one you see in front of you, you probably know very well. It's the TNT cannon that uses dispensers to dispense in water, and then shoot the TNT away, as you can see right here. Um, thing is, it's they're often like very bulky and ugly, and I'm not saying mine is pretty, but I do say that mine is pretty cool. Because I made this. Um, whether you think you want it or not, I really, really like it. It's it's pretty compact. Um, I mean, in the size from above, it's the same size about in length, which I really enjoy. And another thing is that this one, you can actually place this underground or... Um, underground but what you could do is you could like launch it above a wall so let's say you have a nice wall in front of here like you're you're having a castle wall I mean grab some stone and you're like yeah I want to have like a castle wall right in front of here because you know normally you you don't want to have like your TNT cannon all in the open and you're like yeah this is a nice castle wall so this you can put this device next to your castle wall and what you do is basically you hit it and it dispenses the TNT and uses that and demolishes that target that I made over there. It's it's a really nice cannon. And today I'm going to teach you how to make that. So um, let's get started. All right. To get things started, first thing we need a three by seven block area, as, I, as you can see in front of me. And the first thing you need to do is you need to place a block up here. And this is going to be your input. And on top of this block, place a redstone dust with a redstone torch on the side, whilst also placing a block up like this and a redstone repeater out of here. Now, out of this torch, you create a line with a block up like this, a line, and then block down, and then like this. And then on the side, place a redstone torch. Then out of here, place uh, repeaters. So all on full ticks, just full delay, make sure they're all on full delay. If you do not do full delay, then the chances are big that your, um, that your TNT will fall back down and that will cause your machine to basically um, end up not working or destroyed. So place two pistons on the side of this torch and then slime blocks on top of them. That's all the slime blocks we need. Then out of here, place a um, dispenser out of there. And then place two blocks on the side of each dispenser. Like this. Um, keep those blocks in place for a while. Now place a redstone dust and a redstone dust on top of there. Place a dispenser here, a dispenser on top of here. Now remove these blocks. And you're almost done. This is all we need for the launching part. So if I were to place TNT in here, let me place a TNT in this one. If I were to place TNT in here, you will see it will launch and it will launch and it will fire. Basically working. Now all we need to do is place TNT on the side of this block to make the projectile. So what we're going to do is going to add dispensers on the side like this. And to activate them, we're going to draw redstone from this block. So redstone torch, then a block on the side, a block on the side. And either what you want to do is you can place a dispenser if you want to have three TNT that you fire away for more destructive power. Or you could just use a block of obsidian. Make sure that it, this is a non-movable block. Because otherwise this sticky piston is going to drag it along and it's going to break your redstone. Uh, now place three redstone dust on top of there and you're done. All you need to do is grab your TNT and then place your TNT in the dispensers. So place TNT in each and every dispenser. And we will see that right now we have a working TNT cannon. Let's try it out. You'll see that this fires and then fire and it works. It's a little bit down. So to get more blasts, to get rich and make sure it reach, uh, has a further reach. What we're going to do is we're going to place dispensers on top of here. 
Um, th they, these don't need any redstone uh, input because they're already powered by this redstone and this redstone repeater. So all you need to do is place the TNT in, like this, and you got yourself a very nice TNT cannon. As you can see, fires, fires. Very destructive and very effective. Now I am having way too much fun with this, so I am gonna wrap up this episode and fire this TNT cannon and a whole lot more off camera. But thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button and make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos. And I'll talk to you later. See ya.